Hey there, Codiers. Kip here with another tip. This one I'm going to cover is how to customize your shortcuts. <clears throat> now, this is really simple. As you can see, I use Confluence as my uh, skin on my uh, Cody. Reason being, I just like it. That's all. Everybody's got something different. They like uh, different elements of it. Um, I, I just like the way this one is so far, but I'm looking forward to the new ones that are being developed right now by Cody uh, developers themselves, the actual co people who made Cody. So uh, really looking forward to that. Um, now, when you install through and set up uh, your Confluence uh, using Fusion, this is going to be the default, having these five across. This is all Confluence allows us some uh, add-ons or skins I should say allow you to have I've seen up to seven on a couple of them um, but I'm going to show you how, how you can change your basic screen ones here and also how to ha have some extra favorites so here we're going to get started basically scroll over to your system open go up here to your appearance now as you can see it within appearance this is where you can choose your skin again I have confluence but uh, you can always pick several different others. Try these out. Uh, it's okay to try them out. Uh, it's not going to screw anything up, I find, because uh, as long because the uh, setup of the menus is always basically the same. So, but there's where your skin selection is, and right on. Oops, sorry. Right underneath is your settings. We'll open that. Now, as you can see, it's right down here. Your add-on shortcuts. Now, I'm going to point out something to you all. As you can see, I have the video submenu, I have the music submenu. There is the, oh, scroll down here, pictures and the programs. These are the only ones then that you are allowed to set up uh, shortcuts in. But I've hidden my pictures submenu because, quite frankly, I don't look at pictures on my uh, Kodi. Uh, and how did I change that? Easy. Home window, window options. I selected to hide the pictures. It's that simple. Now, I let's go back here. Why, I, why do I keep my programs open? Because I've got my add-on installer here and my maintenance tool. Uh, two very handy things. Uh, keep them, having them on your main page is really nice. Uh, now, we'll go up here to the music one. My concert archive, my radio. Yeah, we won't talk about that. And then up here is my videos. And how do I change them? Very, very simple. Click on it. This is the window that shows your installed add-ons. Only the installed ones that you've set that... Uh, and as you can see, I've got several of them here. I'm going to try out here. Castaway. Boom. It's that simple. Everything is left to right. Let's go home and take a look. over there we go videos boom castaway has been added real simple but say you've got that one add-on that you go in every once in a blue moon you want to try it out every once in a while well right down here the star this is your favorite oh as you can see I've already got uh, several in here and these are the ones that go in every once in a while now how do I ask how do I uh, in add those there easy you go into your videos into your add-ons there we are there's the all the these are the, all the installed add-ons right click I can remove oh I can add to favorites oh I can remove it again Woo, scary so there we go that is BAM how I do that and as you can see these are just the installed ones uh, anything that isn't installed is in the get more we're not gonna get into that right now and I'm going to pop her back home. So there we go, folks. That is how you change your add-ons, favorites, from within videos, from within your music, and also your programs. Uh, you're going to see a, a video, new video uh, for the maintenance tool popping up very shortly. So there we go. And also your favorites, bang, easy to find right there in that little pop-up menu. There we go. Thank you very much. If you need any more information, I recommend starting out in uh, Cody.tv or in TVAddons.ag. Fantastic uh, sources of information, and that's how I learned. So thank you very much. Have a great day, 
and happy coding.